the Allies desperately need to gain control of the skies. The British recognized the need for an aircraft to match or better Luftwaffe fighters as early as March 1938, and they turned to America for help. Most manufacturers are already too busy building war aircraft using existing designs. But a new company, North American Aviation, takes the required specifications and rolls out a prototype on September 9, 1940, just 102 days after signing a contract. For a short time, a version of this new aircraft is called Invader, as well as Apache. But soon, it's universally known as the Mustang. There's no arguing with the results of the, what the airplane did. You just had an airplane like the world had never really seen before. It was just a phenomenal machine. Pilot John Davidson also flies Mustangs today and gives public tours for the Collings Foundation. The Mustang's all-aluminum fuselage makes it light, even by today's standards. And some of its features were aviation firsts, including the shape of its wings. As the wing comes back, you'll see it gets thicker and thicker. And right about here is where it's thickest. A traditional airfoil that pretty much every airplane used prior to that would have been thickest somewhere in this vicinity. It was very unique. It was no fighter before had ever had a wing like this installed. It was a subtle change, but a first-of-a-kind innovation that gives the Mustang an edge 